Hi, I'm Allegra Fulton, and I'm playing the woman in Jennifer Tremblay's The List. Makes it a very active play, and and she comes up against herself. She comes up against her disdain for these country people and this village that she's moved to that she thought she'd love and it would all be so back to nature, kind of, oh, it's all going to be good and I'll find myself. And in fact, she she just smack up against herself in ways that she would never banked on of being really, uh, she's quite condescending and she's quite, feels quite above all these people. And, 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 and she has, she's, she, she's trying to control her environment. She's a bit of a um, control freak and, you know, bit, possibly even OCD, like very, I've got, everything's got to be perfect and my children have to be perfect. And I think this is, you know, speaks to another theme in the play, which is about what, where do we prioritize so that, you know, my house is going to be clean and my children are going to be fed and everything's going to be done, 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 done. And she, she barricades herself in this, in these, uh, putting importance on things that I guess later maybe realizes weren't that important. A human being came to her door and she didn't have time for her because she had to get things done. And so in lots of ways it's quite funny. <laughs> She's just quite a character and, 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 and that, that's fun to explore as well. And that again takes it out of just a memory play and a recounting of events. It's um, it's a it's a person in process of, of of discovering who they are, and and she's quite witty and she has a lot of humor and that you know is again how we as human beings deal with deeply tragic events because we can't sit in the tragedy of it you you know you 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 die you you have to kind of make light of things and make things easier to deal with and find all the good, find all the funny. And um, yes, I have done another one person show, Frida K, for many, many years in many cities. And uh, it's a really interesting dynamic uh, being a solo performer because your playing partner is not another actor, it's the audience. And so every night the audience is a different beast uh, that you are playing with and uh, it's it's an interesting challenge as a performer it's probably the greatest challenge as a performer what um, I've learned about one person shows not just from the ones I've done but from seeing other one person shows I think something that I learned uh, when I was doing Frida K is that the one person show is a an ex a person dealing with extreme loneliness and, and, and a big secret that in fact they can't share with anybody in their life and therefore come to the audience and have to share this moment. It's not incidental. And, and I've tracked that now through watching other one person shows. There's always a really good reason that that person has to speak in, in a way, in a, in a confessional and that the audience becomes the confessors, you know, the, the, the person to which you, I can't say anything of this to anyone, but I'm going to tell you because I've got a problem, I've got to work it out, and you're going to help me. So yes, it's level. very exciting to come back with this play, and, um, and it's exciting to be back in a theater city, and, and, a, and a city that really takes its theater seriously and has a lot of great theater. So yes. Very happy. <laughs>